much. Let's get into this. Three, two, one. Oh, it's going to be a long day. Easiest way to do this is you grab the SCVs, you send them over here, lift this off, land it here. We're going to split. We're not going to make any SCVs this time. We can leave these guys here. We're going to rescue Marshal Jim Rayner. Hit escape so he doesn't talk. Then James Rayner himself is going to take down three Zerglings, and congratulations, we've beaten the mission. Turns out the first mission's really easy. Um, I'm having a bit of a technical issue. And I don't know how to deal with it. I need to be stacking my SCVs here. <laughs> I have 140 slides worth of notes. Yoshi of the Wire, thank you all the guys for the subs, by the way. There's already been a bunch. Um, I have all of my notes on slides and my tablet is refusing to load that many slides. It's too many. <laughs> so I, I don't have my notes available to me. Um, which is going to suck. I'm hoping it finishes loading at some point, but it's been stuck on loading document for 30 minutes now. Luckily, Terran is really easy, so I have like an hour and a half to figure it out. Not enough minerals. You go two racks here, then you go back to mining, you make five SCVs and the mission ends. This mission is really boring, which is one of the reasons we're getting into this so quickly, because the beginning of the Terran campaign just sucks. I've actually only played this mission once, by the way, because it was, like, so not worth practicing. Oh, no, my event viewer stalled out. Okay, I can figure that out in a sec. There's a lot of moving parts in this world, and none of them are working. So the objective is to get to ten marines. We have uh, five up here. And we'll soon have five down here. And I don't really have anything else to say for this mission. I'm still kind of waking up. I've been up for an hour. But obviously you have to sleep as long as possible before a 24-hour stream. Otherwise you're going to be sleeping during the 24-hour stream. And that's the last one we got to build. Alright. And I have... Guys. I have so much coffee. I am ready. <laughs> that's only half of it. And then we mash escape until it lets us win. Victory. Okay, let me fix the event viewer. Perfect. Glad to see you boys. Now we bring everybody up here. This mission should be under two minutes long. I'm going to take the safety kind of route because I'm bad. So we got to rescue these and these. We run past that. Jim, please path the right way. Grab these, grab the fire bats, go marine, 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 rally here, rally here, and we're going to take this fight. We're going to try to run Jim past and drop a spider mine over here while everything else moves. No, Jim, okay. <laughs> and this is why I'm taking the safety route, because sometimes Jim just doesn't listen to me, because this is still StarCraft 1. I'm going to bait this guy and pull him back down. If you're really, really good, you can just run past everything and it'll work out some of the time. Uh, if you're doing, like, just this campaign as a run, you just take the risky route for here and then... <sighs> Why is that making sound at me? Okay, no, this isn't cool. I have you set on mute. Systems and notifications off. There we go. Yeah, one of the things about StarCraft 1 is that... I have to take safety routes in this run every mission because the pathing is so jank that things just don't work out properly a lot of the time. By the way, uh, we have already hit the bit goal for the first mission, or for the first cam uh, cinematic, which is going to be at the end of this campaign. Thank you guys so much. I actually have hit for the first two cinematics over the ends of the first two campaigns.
And we're almost, jeez, we're almost at the sub goal too. All right, now we don't have to do anything. The announcement video is listed under Starcraft 1. Well, darn. I mean, <laughs> that's so weird. Why would the announcement video for this run be listed under Starcraft 1? That doesn't make any sense. Thank you for that update. Okay, now we have to survive for 30 minutes. This mission is so stupid. There's nothing to do here. It's impossible to lose. I'm gonna clear the map, but in reality, it's for me to get my bearings and stuff. Oh, and all uh, if we can get six more subs, then we're gonna hit the first subscription goal. The first sub goal is that I will draw an iconic StarCraft scene in MS Paint during a timed defense mission. Uh, we got time, but do we got defense? Or do... It's <laughs> not what I meant to ask at all. Whatever. Whoa! Acer313, gift and 10 tier 1 community subs. Thank you so much. I think that's 10. Well then, uh, let me start updating stuff. Does the sound... Ba, 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 ba. There we go. Now we can listen to the glorious sounds of Starcraft 1 while I am setting up the next sub goal. The next sub goal is 375. Oh, not 37. And then. Doo -doo -doo. I forgot my defense. Yeah, this mission is literally just a timer. There's no way around it. It's the unfortunate truth. It's like if you watch a speedrun of a uh, platformer and they have an auto-scroller and then everyone's really unhappy, you still got to do it. Okay. Open up some MS Paint. I don't know how much I need to actually defend. So I'm gonna over defend. And then I'm gonna get MS Paint going. And I have to set, what is the next goal? Does anyone know what the next goal is? Because my, just, my thing is not loading. Uh, I guess I'll open the stream rewards on the tablet instead. Like, this is where my notes are supposed to be, and it just won't load. It's really, really annoying, and that's really going to screw me over later. Oh, the next one is 400 subs. Never mind. Uh, sub goal. 400. Firebats on all in. I do have a second monitor. I need like a fourth monitor and a third monitor. Because I have to have all the stream stuff on the second monitor. Whoa! Demonic Wrath given tier 20 tier 1 subs. Thank you so much. Jeez. Thank you guys for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Especially because I'm not even playing StarCraft at this point. I'm just like sitting around here doing nothing. I don't even know what we're at anymore. Do I need bunkers? I'm gonna build some bunkers. So if anyone was wondering, if you watch the stream where I taught Artosis how to speedrun, he talked about a mission back when he was really bad, like as a new kid, where he beat it with, uh, one flying burning building at zero supply and he was so stressed out by it and now he thinks it's the easiest dumbest thing in the world it was this mission and it is the easiest the dumbest thing in the world i'm 
I'm gonna wait for my money. I'm just gonna get range for my Marines and that's it. No reason to get stim because stim is garbage. I think I'm gonna have to set up the uh, MS Paint thing a little bit later when I get to a different mission, maybe zero hour. People will have to remind me though. The game speed is at maximum, right? Okay, it is. It's just, <laughs> this mission sucks so much. <laughs> I want it to be over. You want a piece of me, boy? Base is under oh no, guys. The Mutt Mutts. What? Where is he going? Oh, he found him. Not my secret Marine. I have been tactically supremacied by this enemy AI. By the way, guys, uh, StarCraft 1's not going to go very well, because I'm bad at this game, and I haven't put nearly enough practice into the missions. There was a lot to learn very quickly, and I'm a very slow person. Whoa, Scorpion SC2 with another 10 tier 1 subs. Thank you guys so much. Looks like we're going to be firebatting all in pretty quickly. The next mission is going to be nice and fast, though. So when you go... Jeez. VVP, <laughs> VVP but four characters. <laughs> I love your username, dude. <laughs> no matter where you go, you are the ultimate meme lord. <laughs> With uh, five tier one sub gifts. And everybody else that is subscribing to him. Sorry I can't name you all off. Let's, uh, boop, boop, boop. Once I get to 60 supply, I'm gonna go kill the enemy. Clear out the map. I promise it'll get more fun like... Oh, whoa! Um... MGZ Shannix gifting 22 tier 1 subs, which I think that's bringing us real close, ain't it? Y'all are cray cray. Well, let's see how it updates. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. This has been the best 18 minutes of my streaming career. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yeah, this is good. Now I can actually practice 1A, 2A, 3A, which is one of those things that I don't do much anymore. Oh yeah, so Sunken Colonies, for anyone who hasn't played StarCop 1 recently, are literally the most overpowered thing that have ever existed. They never die, and they do like 40 trillion damage per shot. They're incredible. Really, really great design. I love fighting against them. We have plus one. No, we don't. So this is what is called an anti-timing. It's where you're so bored that you attack before your plus one finishes to make your enemies as powerful as humanly possible. So that maybe, just maybe, you can find some tension in the mission. We'll see if it works. What if we don't attack that sunk? Because it's killing all my boys. You also don't get stim pack because it's Garbo. Theoretically, it would help against the base, but I don't know, 10 damage that you can't heal sounds pretty bad to me. Is the sub counter stuck? Oh no. I hope it updates. It will eventually. We have time. <laughs> Yeah, you have to wait for the timer. The This mission was actually fixed in the StarCraft 64 version of the game, where everyone was like, this is the most boring thing ever, and Blizzard was like, okay, if you clear the map, you can be done. Unfortunately, they didn't put it into the main version of the game, they just put it in StarCraft 64. 
And we're not playing StarCraft 64 because uh, if you want to beat that game in under 24 hours, I don't know. Have you seen that N64 controller? It's a, uh, it's a thing. Whoa, oh, it updated. Um, Okay, let me update. I need to read this so that those two things that I keep editing are on the top. Uh, the next goal is 450. I did not expect this to be going so quickly. And the sub goal for that is, I will make a Deathless Mission tier list at some point in the future. Definitely stair. Go. Perfect. No problem. Let's go keep clearing. Your forces are under attack. Did I spell deathless wrong? Oh, it just says deathless. Whatever. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Numbers two gifting nine tier one subs so I can get rid of my crappy <laughs> thing. I really appreciate it. Okay. What is the next one? Uh, StarCraft Jeopardy Season 2. Whoa! Your forces are under attack. You want a piece of me, boy? Jeopardy is J-E-O-P. Yeah. Uh, 500... Done. You want a piece of me, boy? All right, move out here. And keep clearing the map. Man, this didn't take, I was hoping that my random excursions would make this take longer. <laughs> the fact that I was working with other stuff, no, not at all. You can't shift clack back to minerals, can you? Does anybody know? Well, I'm going to learn this right now. I think you might be able to. It's one of those things that I might be disappointing myself with normally. But I think I try doing it most of the time. Oh, the person that gave out the subs I didn't say thank you to. Uh, LOH Young Cosmic with 10 tier 1 community subs. Thank you so much. I couldn't actually count the number, but I assume it's 10. Because it's a big... Tens of, it's the number of fingers. Alright, let's pop these. I love StarCraft 1 pathing. Guys, attack to this high ground. Alright, I'm gonna go in the trees. <laughs> Come on, guys, why? Oh, jeez. Do I like StarCraft 1 or StarCraft 2 more? I like a lot of the design decisions in StarCraft 1, but the game is really annoying to play. It's really, really annoying to play. In theory, I like StarCraft 1 a lot. In practice, I like StarCraft 2 more. I think that's true for a lot of people. There's nothing else to do. I think I've cleared the entire map. And we still have 10 minutes. I'm so sorry. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of I should have been slower to clear. So, um... What do we talk about? Let's drink some coffee. Ten minutes until drop ship oh, arrived. thank you, Adjutant. You want a piece Starcraft 1 gym pathing? Well, we're actually about to have a mission that is all about that Starcraft 1 gym pathing. So, I hope you're excited. <laughs> he truly is the greatest pather. kill time about the food I prepared this stream. Same as last time. Uh, let me. I have blueberries. Mmm, freshly washed. Let's eat one right now. They're organic. Mmm. And then in the fridge, I have paella. That has to be reheated. And then for something that doesn't have to be reheated, 
I have what the family calls Pista Pesto Pasta. It was my mom's creation. That is, uh, I don't know, olives and chicken and broccoli and noodles and pesto with some feta cheese. It's really good. It also just lasts really long. So hopefully that'll keep me alive for the entire thing. All right, seven more minutes remaining. That was fun. Apparently there's an olive uh, war going on now. What do you guys think? Olives good or bad? Because they're obviously good. Can we have a mission counter? I don't want to have to update something 146 times. It looks like overwhelmingly people are saying that olives are pretty darn good. There's... It seems about 75-25 or something like that. An interesting split. Are Marines the strongest unit? Yeah. <laughs> They're really good. Also, I only have access to uh, three units on this mission. I can make the Vulture, which is like a Marine that can't shoot up. I can make the Fire Bat, which is like a Marine that can't shoot up. Or I can make the Marine, which is like a Marine, but it can shoot up. Starcraft 1 Marines only win. It wouldn't even be hard, honestly. One of the main things about Marines only is that Wings of Liberty gets kind of crazy at the end. The AI never really gets good in Starcraft 1. Particularly in the first Terran campaign. I think it would be like a three hour just make some stuff and walk through. No burritos, no burritos. Cold burritos are not that good. Oh, we got a Oh, jeez! Demonic Wrath with a 5,000-bit donation. Thank you so much. Oh, I was not... I mean, I was so busy staring at this command center that was mining while looking at an empty map. I really am sorry I missed that. Uh, let me... Let me check the bit goals because we are apparently blistering through those. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. All right, that means that we have gotten to the point that we are going to watch every listed Brood War cinematics. Ooh, good band time. That was pretty fast. Nice job, Ace. You got the APM for that, dude. So we're going to watch the inauguration, the Terran ending, the battle on the Amerigo, the Zerg cinematic, the death of the Overmind, spoilers, Protoss ending cinematic, the Fury of Zelnaga, the Brood War Protoss ending, UED Victory Report, and the Ascension. So mostly ending cinematics, except for the first Zerg campaign, because the first Zerg campaign ending cinematic is Garbo. <laughs> it's just not very good. So yeah, we're halfway there. Uh, We're a little bit less than halfway there for all the cinematics that I have listed. And we're, most importantly, pi seconds away from being done with this mission. And then I can go back to playing video game. I'm really, really looking forward to playing video game instead of sitting here. Favorite StarCraft 1 or Brood War campaign? I think from a storytelling perspective, the UED campaign and the Brood War Zerg campaign are the two best. They're just, I think they're very, very fun and good. I can't, I can't open that Finlay. I have no way to get that dock to my tablet. Sorry. I don't have like Discord, I don't have anything on it, and I can't go getting everything on it right now, and I definitely can't call, or, uh, write down the URL. What, in my opinion, makes a good RTS mission? Flexibility. The ability to look at the mission and go, oh, I could do this over here with this, or I could do this over here, or I could do this over here. And this will give me this advantage, this will give me, you know, like, have different ways to approach it for different goals or different mindsets. I think that's the most important thing for a good RTS mission. Or, actually, no, I mean, defending against nothing for 30 minutes straight 
No, that's the best. I love it. It's great. It's phenomenal. I'm having so much fun. And One so are you. Until drop ship arrival. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. It's gonna return home as the lone survivor. Well, I'm glad that the campaign is going well so far. So the next mission is... Oh, goodness. Which one is the next mission? I've practiced missions, but I haven't really done the full runs. It's the gym one, right? And then it's the revolution where you meet Karis again. Cool. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's do this. So we're gonna just head on over here. We're going Jim Rainers only today. This mission is a pretty short one. Every time that we open a door, we stim. Every time that we slow down, we stim. What's with this pathing? It is StarCraft 1 pathing, my friend. <laughs> Jim goes vaguely within 180 degrees of where you click. And the more you click, the higher chance that he does something smart. But you can only bring that chance up to about like 34%. Yeah, Jim, come on. So the reason that I can do this is that Jim has 3-3 three, three, and he has 3 base armor, which means that he has the armor of a battlecruiser. He's literally wearing battlecruiser pants, which means he can run through the entire mission. Your forces are under attack. Hey, teleporter. We ran right through it. Unauthorized entry StarCraft 1. You truly are a video game. Then we just sneak our way down here. Oh. Yeah, right there. One more stim. And we're done. Easy mission. grab everyone here. Yeah, I do know about the zoom zoom cheat. I think it was a debug thing. Hello, Karis Aragon. So we cloak her, send her up here while Jim and the boys take all this stuff down. So we have to kill every white building on the map. Which means those turrets do have to die while Kerrigan goes and rescues all the boys. You didn't realize there was a dude in the turret until recently? There's not anymore. Rest in peace, turret dude. Actually, he was an enemy, so rest in pieces, turret dude. So then we grab Jim. He tanks. We bought this. Get a couple of these, get a control tower, and we head down. We're going to make a drop ship as we clear this area out. All the bunkers up here are going to kill everything while we start getting these guys into position down here. Uh, unload, 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 unload. This SCV goes down here. Drop ship is ready to be built. Grab everybody down. Then we want to lift and lift. By the way, guys, I'm sorry I won't be great at reading chat today because StarCraft 1 is really hard and I'm not... My multitasking is not quite there with this game. Jim, where are you? Jim! We need you. We need to repair you. Get over here. And then we get Mr. Wraith. Where's Mr. Wraith? Mr. Wraith fires at this guy and then pulls over. Then he sits here for a sec to make sure that they come. Oh, no. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, this part's a little bit finicky. But we got it. And then we send... We're going to save. 
Kerrigan. And these guys. Oh good, we sent the damaged ones. That won't come back to bite. Get Jim on the ramp. Then the repair guy. Then we unload. Repair guy repairs. Marines should not be in the front. Jim should be in the front tanking the shots while the Marines take things down. And this guy needs to be repairing Jim. Oh gosh, I didn't drop these guys either. Uh, this is not great play from my side, but it should be salvageable. Oh gosh, Jim's taking a lot of fire here. Let me just help him out. He shouldn't have pulled that many guys. Crap. That's why you do this, because Jim is an idiot. Thank you, Jim. Very cool. Can I take your order? Uh, send the Wraith over. Let's put Jim on hold position this time, just to guarantee that things will go okay. Scoop up these bad boys. seven of them, but whatever. And then unload. There we go. This is going a lot cleaner this time. <laughs> Not a fact. Why? <laughs> Just drop the people. Oh, this game. I'm being safe with this. I'm not going to be risky at all. Now, we're going to slowly get our way over here, grab these last guys, and we can drop over here, grab everything, get this guy repairing gym, greens, marines. Now we can start clearing, but there are spider mines in this base, I have to be careful, because it turns out that Jim and Kerrigan are both weak to dead. And as I said, got to kill everything. Oh, <laughs> that's a little bit close. Oh, mines are so stressful. So we want to take out the production. There should be a mine over here. Nope, maybe not. Maybe it's over here. I don't really remember the mine, mine corruption a long time ago. Er. I don't remember the mine positioning perfectly. So production dies. Then we just clean up the remaining buildings and don't get spider mined. Oh, there he goes. Found the mine. Target the fact I might be able to get these down before they run out of things, and then I can stop worrying. I lost a lot of guys here, more than I would normally like to. The beginning landing was clean, but then moving through the bridge choke point and that kind of stuff was not great. A lot of guys pulled, and I don't have a whole lot of control over who pulls when. There's definitely a luck aspect to it. Alright, now it's just clean up. <sighs> Where was that mine? Okay. Legacy of the Void with Zealots only is impossible. Uh, we had to do it with Stalkers, and Stalkers was still unbelievably hard. So, But I'm not sure people will click on that video, because they'll be like, eh, it's not Zealots, why would you even bother? Because it turns out that just playing Legacy of the Void with a base unit and not using a Spear of Dune is really hard. <laughs> Yeah, it was too easy. There was only multiple three-hour missions in that run. Not nearly enough. There we go. That was all right. This mission's dumb. 
We run everything past. These guys fight. Try not to lose these. Rescue the command center ASAP. Uh, we lost the fire battle. That's fine. Doesn't matter to me at all. And we have these guys over here who have to prepare to defend. I believe the first drop comes from the south. I don't really remember the drop order super well. The objective here is that I have to get uh, Jim Rayner and two dropships to this location. And we're going to do that in a bit of a jank way. Perfect. So we're going to get this army here first. Uh, Goliaths are morons, so that's going to be fun. Goliaths, come on. Pull these guys down. Well, we get seven workers. There should be a Hydra that we haven't killed. Yeah, there he is. Hey! <laughs> come on! We gotta fight! How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the next one makes the gas geyser. We can unload here. Where's my SCV? Oh, he's down here. Then we gotta waddle our way up here and take down a sunken colony, which is the hardest thing in human history. Gas guys are go. That was a good fight. That was a really good fight. And while all this is going on, now we're going to grab these guys. And this is the scary part of the run. Or the scary part of the mission. We're going to set up over here. Mr. Orge... Oh, no, 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 no. Well, thank, you. thank you for the bits. Uh, oh, Jim. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh, he's dead. This is going to be a rough one for Jimmy. So he has to dive all the way over here on his own. Unfortunately, it seems like I have made a couple mistakes in my life. I also forgot to put guys on gas. They got that. Okay, we can come down here. And 15 H point. Come on, Jim. He's fine. He did it. And we're gonna build a factory over here. This is just so that we keep mining. We're gonna repair Jim a little bit. We don't have a whole lot of money to repair. We don't have a whole lot of SCV AI to repair with. What? No, <laughs> go repair him. Starcraft one. <laughs> Why? <sighs> Freaking bones get in the way. We're gonna put the Goliaths down here too. We can't. We can't repair the Goliaths or anything. Okay, this guy is blocked. We need him up here. He's going to make one of the starports. Then this guy lifts this and makes another one of the starports. Then we're going to get two control towers and we're going to get the evacuation force for Duke, which consists of Jim Rayner and two dropships right over to him. Easy peasy. This is absurd. I wait for the next move. I don't like spider mines. <laughs> I really don't like spider mines. They're too scary. <laughs> no. Yeah, go away. <laughs> oh man, if I have to reset because of those mines, I'm gonna be really sad. So for anyone who doesn't play StarCraft 1, the spider mine is the most overpowered unit in the game against both players. There's nothing as absurd as it. I have one mine remaining to defend. Base is under attack. We're going to lose this base. It doesn't matter. I All I need is the minerals to make my double drop. And then we'll be on to the next mission. Add -on complete. Add -on Perfect. Complete. Now we can use the minerals to repair Jim. Base is under attack. 
attack. This actually went pretty well, all things considered. Base is under attack. I actually have slight tears in my eyes from that widow mine. Like, it scared me so badly. Or a spider mine. Oh, how does this look? <gasps> it's invisible! <sighs> That's cool. Oh, I need to skip this. I'm <laughs> sorry, I got... <laughs> I was busy with important things. Alright, this mission's really hard. Also, it's going to be really, really long. So, I hope you are ready to strap in. I'm a really honest guy, so when I say long, I mean long. Alright, we're done. guys here these guys here uh so fun fact i taught artosis how to speed run this mission and then i never practiced it i have not played this mission since i uh taught him I'm just working off of the idea that that was enough practice which it probably isn't okay um his dropships unloaded properly Grab this guy, send him back. We're gonna get these minerals, land the CC, get the BC up here, deal with the timing attack, send this off on a magical adventure to die. Yeah, my time on this mission is gonna be garbage, and I'm okay with it. As long as I don't lose. Because I was practicing a couple more missions than he was. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we're gonna... Tomato, tomato can in that. Oh, building SCVs is weird. We want to get up here and drop these bad lads up here. Oh, I, I am out of the wrong guy. The wrong turret. We're going to dive the turret. This isn't, like, super good. But it's better than the alternative. I think we gotta pull these back. Oh gosh, that pulled all the raids. Four of them! I didn't even know there was four raids. This is horrible luck. Well, that was like the worst possible luck that you could get. Uh, what you're gonna do, sometimes that happens. We just have to do it again. So these guys unload here, and then this one has the SCVs, so unload it over here. Oh gosh. Man. Just not having a perspective on exactly where to drop things is really painful. Your forces are under attack. Did they kill the stuff over here? I don't think they did. Get this guy, get him mining. SCP good to go, sir. They land here. I'm gonna make the excuse that I absolutely just didn't practice this in order to make sure that Artosis got a really good time compared to me to make him look good. <clears throat> and it's definitely not that I was lazy and overwhelmed with 146 missions to practice. I'm pretty sure these guys killed something. Aren't there marines that are supposed to come over here? Did I accidentally kill them? I may have. 
with the BC. Okay. I'm going to bring these guys over. Pick up an SCV as well. And keep poking. Probably 10 seconds until I want to get my gas geyser. All these guys over here. You repair. Oh gosh, depots. Right. No, what? What? Why? Freaking game, I hate StarCraft 1. Uh, hold position like I pressed. Hmm. Never seen them do Morgan drops before, that's new. And my gas geyser didn't make. That's normal. My dad, again. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna have to bring another SCV to repair. Let's see if we can put pressure on this. If we can take out the production, it's still okay. And then where's my factory? I have no idea. It's not over there. It's not over here. Oh, near the minerals. Sure. I think I'm done with SCVs. Please. Okay, I'm not done with SCVs because I need more Duke repairs. Marines here, tanks here, rally, rally. Did that not kill him in one shot? That was weird. Why are the SCVs brawling each other? Guys, repair the Hyperion. That's what you're here for. Oh no. How does this game work? Why, <laughs> why did they just start auto attacking? Is that what SCVs in StarCraft 1 are designed to do? They just murder people? Your forces are under attack. I'm gonna lose again. Maybe. Maybe. You want a piece of me, boy? I had no idea they were so aggressive. This is the only mission where it really comes up, so... Your forces are under oh, they didn't go on gas! freaking game. <laughs> no, it's really hard to take seriously sometimes. I know that good players can undo this stuff, but it's like you get so used to StarCraft 1 or StarCraft 2, right? Where you're like, okay, I press the button and that button does. But in this game, eh, we'll see about that. I was to kill the factory. So I I built in time to my route for missions like this to go horribly wrong. And this one did go horribly wrong, and that's okay. It's the nature of not being able to restart that you have to accept that sometimes you're going to be stuck in very unideal scenarios. And it's all about salvaging from that, right? Well, I mean, you restart if you lose, but... You can't just chain restart until you get a really good opening like you would if you were doing an individual level run. Or even like a full campaign run instead of a every campaign run. Another tank. I'm shocked how cheap tanks are. I really dig this uh, 100 gas tank thing. Whoa, uh, Razgriz Gundam giving out 10, or 13 tier one community subs. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Ready to roll out. 
I'm gonna name the siege tank right after you, bud. Thank you. Oh, are we up to two or er, five hundred? Nice. Uh, remind me in a bit to update the thing once we're clearing out Orange's base. I can't do that before then because I'll lose a lot of time if I do. Then I need siege mode so that I can fight the next dude. Uh, does anyone know what the next goal is? It's listed on the thing. I just, uh, I'm illiterate. I can't go read it. It's a lot of work. Oh, StarCraft 64 stream. Oh, God, why did I promise that? I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's, like, right down here, right? I'm taking everything down here just so I don't forget. I'll do the split push for the top one, but not for down here. Because I want to have a really good orange base fight. Clive up here. I was about to say, once I get into the role of it, macroing is not that... Are you rebuilding your command center? <laughs> Things that never happened the entire time Artosis ran this mission. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, hi. <laughs> sure, why not? That should be their last SCV, and I should be able to fight Orange really well now. Oh yeah. If you don't build supply depots, you'll never get your additional supply depot. I got really stuck on that ramp. Just try to move anything over here. I think that's basically my entire... Oh, hi. And then I'll figure out the tank thing later. Oh, he rebuilt that too. I, at this point, have no idea how many anythings he has. So he's going up here. We need a model one of the tanks. This is a good tank count with a lot of covering marines, so we should be able to take the fight really nicely. These guys are going to go down that way. So they're the orange turret killers. I don't know who wins that fight. Oh. Uh oh. Might be fighting this part a little bit too early. And be nice and safe here. What's siege mode? Oh? That's so far away! Why is it oh? What a dumb button. And we just take the fight on the top of the ramp. way. I think at this point we can just push in normally and we should be able to bust. That is a lot of tanks. That tank can outrange that bunker because that's what tanks do. Where's Duke? Ah, this game! Sorry, there's a couple missions in StarCraft 1 that I just hate, and this is one of them. He's just... Uh, I have to do the entire thing again because I thought everything was going alright. Uh, I just hate playing Terran. I hate hero units. I hate required hero units. We're gonna learn. I can't believe he just did that. 
I was trying to be safe. I really was, for that exact reason. I forgot my depot. Whatever. Not the end of the world. This is how it used to be in the speedrun for a really long time, so I can't bring myself to care. My dropship didn't drop all the guys because it's just too much work. Please just drop your guy. This is way off. Get this landed. Oops. Where are the... I'm really excited to get to Zerg and Protoss because they're better races. Terran's garbage. I don't know why anyone plays this race, I'll be completely honest, I hate it. I'm not doing like Terran's underpowered, but man is it not fun. I feel like Terran units are dumber. That's one of the things that really gets me, is like, Zerg units in particular, man, those things are great. They just, you press button, and you know what happens after you press button? The units go in the vague direction that you clicked. It's crazy. Oh gosh. Hold position. My opening is way better this time at least. So I'll save after I kill Brown, and then I'm not going to send the Norad against Orange. That was pretty unlucky with the raids again. But what you going to do? Why are they in the bunker? They're supposed to get out of the bunker. Are you kidding? You're supposed to get out of the bunker! <laughs> I'm gonna remember to put guys on gas this time. Are you out of the- er, okay, it's dead. Forced him out of the bunker. And I have taken a really bad fight again. Where are these tanks coming from? There's a lot of tanks. It's pretty good. Got a couple guys over here. But I can't repair. Oh, there's still so much. I sent two. Okay. Game disagrees. He got stuck. Let's try to get to the high ground to repair. Get him on an edge over here so he can pressure stuff. And hopefully be repairable from up here. Why would you... Okay, first of all, this guy never even went over. I clicked him up here and he didn't even try. Do SCVs not know how to take the stairs? Oh, they just have uh, positive reinforcement issues. stairs please I'm begging you oh, that's not an academy no repair it it's right above you repair it I hate this mission I don't know if this is the worst mission in the run, but it's definitely one of the worst missions in the run. I was gonna wait for this guy. We can drop over here. My CC never gets like super good timing anyway. I can't believe this. Half a squad would never would have left us 
Yeah, I can't believe it either, Duke. That's what I call sloppy. Okay, please, guys, just stay where I put you. That's all I want. I'm really trying to be safe here. It's not working out. So we just sit up here. He's on hold position. Everything. Oh, look, they unloaded the bunker this time. That's new. Thank you, AI, for doing what you're supposed to. Over here. Go, For these is cover. See, the AI is just being very tame this time. It's actually pretty great. Might be able to make something out of this one. All the friends here. No, no. <laughs> I didn't say go down the stairs. I know that going down the stairs is really easy, but going up is really hard. And then we can start pressuring this. Let's get that gas. Isn't this great? I'm even supply blocked because my army's just not dying. It's almost as if I've done basically this exact same thing three times in a row, and sometimes the game didn't want me to be able to win. So those guys just chill up there. Force the SCV away. Uh, gas Geyser is done, so we need two guys on gas. Take that down, we're golden. Not that there's any way to get SCVs down a flight of stairs. No, we're gonna die again. Because the raids pulled at a bad time, and the SCV's not gonna repair. SCV, just... <sighs> I don't know how to make repairs happen. This is very frustrating. I literally don't know how to repair units in this game, apparently. Unload. Grab this guy. Come back. You unload here. Start mining. Don't block it. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing wrong, I'll be completely honest, because before I teach or before I coached Artosis, I was doing exactly this and I was crushing it every time. Like, in order to prepare to make sure that I could coach him properly, I played through this like probably five or six times, and I did this strat, and it was really easy. And then today the AI is just like Have you heard that we have every unit in the history of mankind right here at your doorstep? They killed their thing. We go up. We land. We just let him do his thing. And then 
gas is soon. Oh, first supply blocked. I always miss that supply block. These guys right up here. They're on hold position. These are also on hold position. Now the scariness comes. I'm just going to take it slow. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Where are the raids? They haven't pulled yet. And that's kind of concerning to me because they should come ruin my life at some point. And the longer that I wait, the more concerned that I get. Oh gosh, I just messed up my CC hockeys. You know what? That might be a good indicator that I am done producing SCBs here. Grab these two guys, head up to repair. Oh, you guys don't want to fight. That's all right. Pressure the fact. I'm really afraid of saying that this time it's going better, because every time I say it's going better... Hey, the raid's full. Hey, they're repairing! Well, they're dead, but they were repairing. What an exciting development. Build. Build. Oh, that's a lot of stuff out of nowhere. And all my guys are dead again. We need more SCVs. Yeah, I don't have enough. So we need him to hold position. Come over here. Please just go up the ramp. Repair. I'm clicking the repair button this time. Not leaving it up to chance. Apparently he needs very, very specific orders for this. Try to get that burning. I'm going to save because this is kind of okay. And I don't want to play this early game again. Oh, another Wraith pulled. I didn't even know there was another Wraith. What is he building? I swear. I have to get over there really quick. If they're like rebuilding production, that's gonna absolutely wreck me. We have tanks, and tanks are really good against tanks. Oh, he was repairing the turret. I see. That's okay. Biggest conquest in this entire run is going to be beating this mission, I swear. You're still repairing, right? Yeah, you are. And once again, I'm going to full clear this because I'm a coward. And I'm actually going to unhotkey Duke. I'm just not going to use him for the rest of the mission. It's going to slightly make me worse, but at this point, we need to be able to move on from this if I want to make a decent time. That is enough supply basically forever. Marine range is on the way. We can just send a rally for that, actually. You want a piece of me, 
I do want to move somewhat on before Orange can make more stuff. I need siege mode. Am I only mining with two guys? I'm not sure how I manage that. So that explains why I was so poor and I couldn't afford siege mode. I can give this another save. Just real careful on this mission. Oh no, I need siege mode. I cannot fight orange base until I have siege mode. I can fight the area up here, but not the main... What? <laughs> Why did they take them off the high ground and bring them to the low ground to die? Sure. This is a weirdly large number of tanks here. Usually they keep those tanks inside of the base to pull, but that might be good. Siege mode is going to be done in a sec. There we go. Literally a sec. Then we just pull things to the tanks. And be nice and careful. Yeah, see, there's usually more than four or five siege tanks here. There's like eight or nine. And they decide to be super aggressive with them today. Uh, one thing Duke could very safely do is go up north and clear stuff. That'd be a good use for a man of his talents. Better than farming, at least. Is there a wraith killing the yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, that happens. Sure. At this point, I don't need it. Never mind, maybe I do. Holy crap, they just keep having tanks. This is bad. Are they going to clean me up? Uh, siege mode? Siege mode. Did that tank shot just miss? This is clear. This is clear. We need to reinforce these tanks. Uh, let's get some guys back. They killed the gas. They didn't even just kill the guys on the gas. Marines only should be able to clean up the rest of this, I guess. But this part definitely was not perfect. He didn't even build the gas, whatever. At some point, you just have to give up the idea of ever having Vespin gas. This is good. Not going to do anything with Duke. He's going to live there for the rest of his life. Some call it retirement. I call it prison. As soon as I unsiege, the guys come. They've got the tactics. I can't get stim, which is going to be annoying. Also, yeah, it's going to make that BC fight hard because there's triple battle crews that needs to be killed. That is one thing Duke could do is go over here and threaten the starport. He can fight BCs really easily, especially because he has Yamato. But at this point, I'm just going to save one more time for safety. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that I win. The only way that I can lose here is if Duke randomly explodes. I don't think he will. 
No, it's okay. I know where Duke is going. He's going on an adventure to murder a starport. Let's see if we can pull the DCs. There we go. That'll make things easier. Because I'm pretty sure that Duke can win a fight against a starport and two dropships. Even he can manage that. So this is definitely one of the less practiced missions, and at least in the last... Duke can beat a BC, please. And the lack of practice is showing. That's okay, though. It's only uphill from here. Your forces are under attack. Not right? Uh, we gotta kill that depot, and then we'll be done, I'm pretty sure. Please. Cool. Oh, thank goodness. That was horrible. So, great place, CC. We gotta move that ASAP. Wait, do I not have... Ah, oh, this mission. Yeah. There they are. I knew I had SCVs somewhere, but only two of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a two racks, one fact, and do a marine tank push, kind of like last time. Marine tank in base Starcraft 1 is effectively the only thing that you use. It's really good. Oh yeah, uh, what I want to be doing is moving south with Karis Harrigan, and she's going to start clearing the way. She has cloak, so she can do some pretty good clearing. There eventually would be like reavers and stuff over there, and if she can take one of the reavers down, life is good. But you gotta manually attack with her, otherwise she's really dumb. There's this like weird thing with cloaked units in StarCraft 1 where they attempt to hold fire if you don't manually tell them to attack, except for when you need them to not attack, at which point they will start lighting everything up. That's been my experience with it. Are you kidding? We'll build it over here. So like this. Yeah, SC1 is a lot of really weird quirks that you just have to learn. Machine shop is spelled with C. I don't know why I was pressing X. We're going to try to push these guys into corners so they stop running. It's not working. Yeah, right in that corner, bud. Kerrigan! Starcraft 1. <laughs> you all saw that, right? I'm like spam clicking her and she's just like... No. Why would I... Why would I move, you idiot? Please just shoot with your gun. Getting my gas, it takes like eight guys on that gas. I think it's actually five. It's not a good number though. Now I need to be careful here because there is detection. Supply blocked, and once I get about 12 guys, we're gonna go south and start clearing. Yeah, this is about 12 guys. Kerrigan is doing an impression of someone that is clearing out the defenders. I don't need siege mode, which is nice. 
Oh. Crap. What horrible timing. Well, the tank will be out soon. <sighs> Come on. The Zerglings are so ridiculous. Oh, the flank! That's not good. Oh, dude! Why would you go over there? No! Well, they pulled a bunch of extra guys, which is going to be horrible. I'm going to try to tank for a bit with Kerrigan. She's kind of bulky. But, oh, he just got pathing to death. And now these guys have ensnare, so they can't come and help. Yeah, this might be game over. That was just the worst. Okay, Kerrigan, you have to retreat. What a bad, bad way to open this. That was one of those things where it's pretty easy to watch out for, except for the fact that I was getting attacked. And then, because I was getting attacked, I couldn't watch out for it, and then it happened, even though it's rare. This is one of those days. Uh, we're gonna get a safety bunk for Kerrigan. And we're going to keep pushing down here. I think I can drop one guy off of his gas. Did the bunker not build? So now what's happened is that the AI has gotten enough time and they've managed to build up way more than they should. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so dead. They should never have this much. And they just keep rallying now. Normally I would have gotten and disabled their main production. Let's see if we can get this gateway. That was decent micro on my part. Maybe can salvage it. Eh, luckily, I don't have to build any Not depots for a bit. Not and they sent everything now. from the base. Well, no, they still have more on that base. Me, boy? I'm going to have to regroup my horses again. Kerrigan in the bunker. Might be one of those times that siege mode is worth getting, even though you normally don't. I'm having economic troubles, though. I can't believe that you bring all back what happened. Two Zerglings were the problem here. And if it weren't for those two Lings, I would be in such good shape. That was a lot of zealots. Usually they go more goon heavy. But okay. Uh, and now I'm going to lose everything. Jeez, that's a lot of zealots. Do I reset? Is it faster to reset? Probably not. I don't have a backup strat here, so my backup strat is going to be get two control groups of units and go. Yeah, this is the AI is being really, really uh, different than normal, and that's just part of how StarCraft One works. Is it's not the most reliable game, and <laughs> you gotta live with it. Man, it's annoying. I was actually very close to being able to slow them down too. That's the part that really is the kicker. I was trying to not use the speedrun word because I thought the AI would be nicer. Also, why? 
<laughs> Starcraft one path on why? Is this really what you think is optimal movement? I'm gonna get an eBay. I'm gonna get plus one. I'm gonna get siege mode, all that jazz. I'll get range. I just have to go with overwhelming force at this point. They have held off too long. How much money is left on these? Oh, good. I could actually run out of money. This is a fairly long mission either way. It's not one of those that's done in like six minutes. So it's not like I'm looking super, super horrible. Trying to get my guys to go into decent. I, okay, never mind. I don't know how to. I know that if you put your stuff in the right place, then it corrals the enemy into good spots for you. I was trying to get that done. So upgrade, upgrade, more tanks, upgrade, siege mode, go. Plus one makes a huge difference, as does range on Marines. Kerrigan's okay. I need 150 for the range upgrade on the Marine. 150 gas. So I'll save up for that, then I'll save up for siege mode. This is two control groups. Makes the magic happen. So they're reinforcing the areas that I've taken. When is... Oh, these are a long way away. I'm going to wait for my upgrades. I don't feel safe doing what I'm doing. I'm going to get into position. But I'm not going to rally more guys over there in case that I get counterattacked. And I'll wait for Siege Mode and stuff to finish. Make them run into me this time. I only have four guys on gas. That's part of the problem. I should have had five. I'm just going to chill at the top of this ramp. And drink some coffee. Uh, what can I do while I'm waiting for these? I can update the sub goal to 550. And what is the sub goal at 550? Does anyone know? Because my tablet is acting amazing again. Is, uh, oh, Starcraft 64. Yes. Sixty. Or no, StarCraft 65. We're not that advanced. Perfect. We ambush them. And it's time to go. Now this is a pretty good army. But it's also way later. I don't actually know the mission at this point. Because it never gets to this point. Are you dropping me? Are you kidding? Every time I move out, they come and counterattack me. Every time. We have Kerrigan in a bunker. She'll be able to help. I have, like, a horrible timing sense on this mission, I guess. However, we have broken this base. And that's the most important part. Once that's cleared up, everything's going to be easier. And hopefully we can do it before the... Oh, they killed the gas geyser. Whatever, I guess we're done with tanks. 
It's called playing dynamically. Get on top of that cannon. And then I think that up north they have another gateway. So we're going to clear that direction. And make another marine hut. Target down the cannon. Is there a gateway? No, it's just pylons. Oh, Stargate. That's what it was. That gate in the name. Well, I hope these two missions are not a symbol of what is to come. You know, let's take this as the exception, not the rule for the day. Theoretically, I could have proxied that new Rax. That would have been faster. I didn't think of that. Okay, this is the end of this base. Then we can move everything, and we're going to do an SCV pull. Because the answer to every woe you've ever had in your life is pulling the boys. more guys in the bank and then we got these up here come on you can do it and these guys here oh dude I just lost like three tanks over there and I don't know why they were over there uh, save 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 let's go I guess they just weren't in a hot key. That's why they ended up living their worst life. Starcraft 1 SCVs are really good. They have infinity billion HP, which is why we're pulling them. They tank uh, forever, and they really make the Zealots less scary if the SCVs can get up there. So as you can see, what happened at this blue base is they were so preoccupied with their drop defense of the bottom base that they don't have anything left. The reason that blue in the bottom right was so ridiculous is literally everything that would normally be here went over. Which is, it's fine. Just means that sometimes things are suboptimal early and optimal late, and I would prefer it the other way around because you generally get a better time if it's the other way around. Oh, there's a cannon down here. Deal with that. And attack. Attack. Yeah, exactly. It's a marathon, not a sprint. We're done, right? This is the game ending cinematic? Yeah, okay. Cool. I just had to make sure. If that was an actual attack wave, I would have been very upset. So we're going to saturate, bring all the guys over here. Ooh, big tank energy. That was a good lockdown. That was a horrible, horrible fight by me. Uh, yeah, we might be dead, actually, because they're going to be able to kill Jim due to the lockdowns. All right.
I just need to be a little bit more prepared when I take the fight. I always think that the enemies over there are farther down than they are. Or farther up, I guess I should say. So then I take, I think they're like over here. So then they get me. Please just kill the tank. Holy crap, things are going badly. <sighs> Do I have to reset again? He's gonna lose the fight, isn't he? We'll see. Yeah, that's way too much remaining. It's not even a hard fight. It's just, when I click on the freaking siege tank, it has to get attacked. And I need to use my mines. There we go. Look, I clicked a button and then it worked. Perfect. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> why spider mine? Why? You gotta do the spider mine because spider mines can hit cloaked units. <laughs> but come on. <laughs> uh... <laughs> so what we're gonna do is build our infrastructure up here. Take this base really quickly. Let's see. All this doesn't need to exist anymore. We can sack it. That means that we don't have to build depots. Oh yeah, they gotta kill these guys. And Jim goes up here. We're not going to be on this mission for too long, then we'll be able to move to the Zerg campaign, which I feel somewhat more comfortable with. Not necessarily because I know the missions better, but because I know how to use Zerg units to not die better. It's a lot harder to instant fail because there's a lot less hero units that can instant get killed. All I have to do here is be fast enough to not die. And I think there's a pretty big berth of time that I'll be okay. I need two ghosts, two nuke silos, a starport, a dropship, and a factory. gas because nuke stuff is very expensive. Uh, I don't know if it's three or four on that gas. I think it's three. At least it's not going to be the end of the world either way. I have a decent gas count. And my minerals are actually a bit starved. I'm pretty much done with SCBs. I'm close to being done with the mission. Uh, though I'm going to have to redo the final bit multiple times because it's really, really inconsistent. Even the world record VOD... Oh, hello. Whatever, you'll just chill here. Even the world record VOD loses, I believe, their dropship one time. Thank you, by the way, for everybody that has been so incredibly supportive already throughout all of this. I really do appreciate it. I know that usually I call everybody out that is subscribed, and I feel bad that I don't get to do that. I need Academy. But there's just been so many people that have been so great. Jim's here for safety, by the way. He's not going on an adventure anymore. We just need him to be in a place where he won't die. 
Uh, save, save, save. Then we can get the science facility at home. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, just like over here. Uh, control tower. And we'll get the covert ops. Double nuke silos. We're close. We're going to repair Jim just so nothing can go horrible. <laughs> because you know that it will, right? So we got to get the covert ops. Yeah. I believe we have to upgrade cloak. I've only done this like once. Am I going to play all the missions in Wing? Yeah, I'm going to play every mission. Every mission that has ever existed in StarCraft in a legitimate campaign. StarCraft 2 is going to be much smoother than StarCraft 1, by the way, just in case anybody is confused. I know those runs like the back of my hand. I had to learn all of these in the span of like a month and a half with a bunch of other stuff going on that... Uh, I was not prepared to have going on. <laughs> so I ended up with a lot less uh, prep time than I had hoped. Are, are you kidding? Oh, that's horrible. Uh-oh. <sighs> We're fine. I hope. That could be so bad. Because this needs to get up here to tank some missile turrets. And the more stuff that's in the way over there, the less chance that's going to work out. I'm making extra buffer dropships. You usually don't have to do this. But it really... It doesn't hurt. I wonder if I can slip two more ghosts out. Actually, I don't want to do that because it's kind of temperamental at the end here. Nukes are halfway done. This is all that I'm going to be able to get. So we cloak. We save. Get in the drop ships. Start bringing this up. Front dropship is empty. That's good. Oh, there's so many Marines. This is just not a good place for me. There's usually supposed to be no Marines, but the enemy decided to do a drop. All right, let's go. Um, unload! Unload! Oh, it's not D! It's freaking U! I, this is one of those things where I get confused because I play multiple games. In StarCraft 2, it's D to unload. In StarCraft 1, it's U. And... So I didn't unload in time. That's my fault. Oh gosh, we've taken half our HP and damage already. Yeah, I know I can change my hotkeys, but I don't know what to change them to when I have to play 10 freaking campaigns at the same time, which makes it very hard. Because then whenever I do it, I press the wrong button again. Do you know what I mean? Are you kidding? Lockdown? It's getting worse. That's not supposed to happen at all. Where did the lockdown come from? <sighs> And they just random one of two and they got the right one. 
This is one of those days where everything that can go wrong is going to go wrong. And I have nothing really to say about it. I'm going to send this one just to distract some stuff. What luck. Twice in a row. And we had one of the guys out and I was spam clicking the other and it just, things ain't working out today. One out again, and then he got locked down. How am I supposed to stop this? Uh, it went correct in practice. It really did, I promise. I'm not lying to you. It's... I can try to get the third dropship over here to help, yeah. That might be the play of the game. But this ghost is here, and I've never seen this ghost. Why is he here? And why is the drop there? I've never seen either of those things. And how does he always hit the right one? <laughs> why? There was three options. I have to uncloak. I literally am <laughs> wasting all my energy here. Oh, this is so annoying. I don't... <sighs> my time is so bad. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm making two more ghosts. I'm gonna cloak them, put them in different dropships, and just gonna hope that one of them knows. Or one of them gets passed. Because this is stupid. The AI is completely bullying me to... Okay. That's good? Is it? Is that good? They're not over there anymore. Which they're not supposed to be in the first place. They EMP'd me. Somebody call for oh, this guy's out of gas. <sighs> sure. I don't even know. What the heck is happening? And there's just nothing here. Oh, there's the ghost. He's not even attacking the factory. They're just sitting there. They know exactly what's happening. New plan. We're dropping Jim Rayner on these jerks. He can probably hold his own. Yeah, they hit the right one every time. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Can I take your order? Like, they're so obviously cheating. 
but I've never seen them do this before. So I don't know how to counter it. I guess I fill like three of them up with ghosts. This is not the time that I wanted to learn new things about the AI. I tried baiting them to the other side with a dropship, it didn't work. They just sit right there. Somebody call for an exterminator. So we got two. I'm gonna make two more. I guess I'm gonna make more stuff. I'm not supposed to be in this position. But I don't know how much it matters if they just spam EMP on the correct target every t or spam lockdown. How long does it take? One more ghost. Somebody call for an exterminator. So the three back ones will have it. The three front ones will be empty. How dumb is this? It's usually one medevac and it gets over there without a huge amount of issue. And then the AI today is just absolutely devastating. Somebody call for an exterminator. I don't want to have to reset this mission, but it might be that something happened with that drop that like flagged that area to be dangerous. I don't know. Yep, that one had guys in it. <laughs> I hate this game. Why did I say I'd play StarCraft 1? Three lockdowns, three correct targets, no unload worked. They're obviously cheating, but in a way that I've just never seen before. Yeah, I guess I can try, I don't know, putting these down here to distract. Look at them! What is this? There's four ghosts! No, unload, please! Which one is it? You can't do one ghost in each dropship. You need... I guess maybe I could. But if you attack with the ghost, then you die. Because they will start sending detection over. Yeah, unloading, I hate. There's a couple things that just don't work well in StarCraft. Well, there's more than a couple. But unloading is one of those things that just... It doesn't do the buttons you press a lot of the time. Oh, no lockdowns that time. Are you... You can't tab through units, can you? I'm gonna have to unload everything, get all my ghosts on a hotkey. Yeah, it just removes your minimap train for some reason. See, like right there, I unloaded six ghosts and only four ghosts unloaded for some reason. But whatever. I have them all in... Well, I had them all in control, too. Now it's just selecting a random dropship. No, they didn't patch anything. It's the AI is inconsistent, and it looks like I just rolled really, really bad AI for today. The first couple missions, I actually got pretty decent AI. Like, it's not all unlucky, but the hard missions have been exponentially harder than they have to be. Oh, it brought the vessel.
because they attacked. I really don't know what to do. Unload! There we go. One, two, three. I'm just going to bring two. You know what? No, I'm going to do the single dropship strat. You know what? That's what people do. That's what good people do. I'm going to have the ghost pre-cloaked. I'm just going to dive it and make it work. There's too much stuff to work with here. Oh gosh, I need to make sure these are hotkeyed. If the cool kids can do it, so can I. I don't know what's happened to these ghosts. We didn't, like, change the save we had or anything. No, um... <laughs> Let's see if we can do it with one. Oh, yeah, we need to... No, because... You need to get double nuke on it. Whoa! Is it burning? Okay, we got it. I... <laughs> it's gonna burn down. I don't even care anymore. No, are you kidding me? I hate this game. It's just never getting any luck today. Can I take your order? Send the factory. That worked. Get the hotkeys properly set up. Pre-cloak the ghosts. Oh, these are not good ghosts to cloak. They don't have much energy. Your forces are under attack. Then just hope we don't die. Hey, it didn't pull the BC. Oh, it did. Just why? I'm going to nuke there, I'm going to pull back, and I'm going to nuke again. Hopefully he doesn't die. Just... Base is under attack. Well, that's a new thing I've never seen. <sighs> Can I, take your order? I got both of the ghosts out, but then they didn't... See, I put them both in the hotkey... I absolutely did. This... <laughs> it's not even a hard strategy, guys. It's really easy. Yeah, one of the ghosts shot once and it triggered the vessel. I think you're right. Your forces are under attack. I should have just teched a D matrix or something. But at this point, I'm so invested into this garbage strategy. Okay, well, that one didn't go up as far as it should have. Just unload! This guy, I'm pretty sure, hasn't fired a gun. I'm like 87% sure that he has not fired, and he'll be able to get the double nuke. Your forces are under attack. Unless... Nuke, please. Unless that pulls it. Nuclear Where's Jim? Detected. <sighs> well, I was hoping to get this done in an hour and a half, and then I had to spend like half an hour on the last mission, which is very unfortunate. But we're gonna kill it. Alright, now I can move on to stuff that I'm a little bit more confident. 
We hit the or we hit the bit goal for it, so we're gonna watch the inauguration. Fellow Terrans, I come to you in the wake of recent events to issue a call to reason. Let no human deny the perils of our time. While we battle one another, divided by the petty strife of our common history, the tide of a greater conflict is turning against us, threatening to destroy all that we have accomplished. It is time for us as nations and as individuals to set aside our long-standing feuds and unite. The tides of an unwinnable war are upon us, and we must seek refuge upon higher ground lest we be swept away by the flood. The Confederacy is no more. Whatever semblance of unity and protection it once provided is a phantom, a memory. With our enemies left unchecked, who will you turn to for protection? The devastation wrought by the alien invaders is self-evident. We have seen our homes and communities destroyed by the calculated blows of the Protoss. We have seen firsthand our friends and loved ones consumed by the nightmare reserve. Unprecedented and unimaginable though they may be, these are the signs of our time. The time has come, my fellow Terrans, to rally to a new banner. Lies strength. Already many of the dissident factions have joined us. Out of the many, we shall forge an indivisible whole, capitulating only to a single throne. And from that throne, I shall watch over you. From this day forward, let no human make war upon any other human. Let no Terran agency conspire against this new beginning. And let no man consort with alien powers. And to all the enemies of humanity, seek not to bar our way. For we shall win through, no matter the cost.